Welcome to the rocket profile of Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse rocket that started the reusability race. The current version of Falcon 9, Block 5, has a first stage consisting of nine Merlin 1D engines burning kerosene and liquid oxygen. Each engine has a vacuum thrust of 914 kN and a vacuum specific impulse of 311 seconds. SpaceX initially started with the Merlin engine having a fairly low chamber pressure, 982 psi, which led to less thrust, but gradually increased that to 1410 psi leading to the current thrust. All versions of Falcon 9 have 3.66 meter diameter tanks, but the tanks increased in length between versions. The main point of the first stage is that it is meant to be reusable, either landing on a drone ship out into the ocean or retroburning to land back at the launch site. The burn time for the stage depends on the mode of reusability. In non-reusable mode, Falcon 9 can carry 22.8 tons to orbit. With lighter loads of approximately 16 tons, it can land on the drone ship. With still lighter loads like this Dragon 2 spacecraft, it can perform a return to launch site landing or RTLS, going all the way back to the launch site while the second stage continues to carry the payload to orbit. A typical burn time for the first stage is 2 minutes and 42 seconds, but the engines can throttle to limit stress on the vehicle and will also shut down early to reserve propellant if aiming for recovery. The Merlin 1D is capable of throttling down to 39% of its maximum thrust. Because the first stage lands without the burden of the second stage and payload, and also benefits from drag to slow down, the propellant that it needs to manage its landing is less than might at first be expected. The key to the recoverability of the first stage is actually the design of the second stage, which consists of a single Merlin 1D adapted for vacuum operation. The most obvious adaptation is the long nozzle, which allows it to get 348 seconds vacuum ISP, over 10% more efficiency than the first stage Merlin 1Ds. Sometimes it is fitted with a slightly smaller nozzle depending on the payload, and that variant gets a bit less efficiency. The Merlin 1D vacuum also manages a bit more thrust, 394 kN to 381 kN depending on the variant. It can burn for around 6 minutes and 37 seconds, though this depends on throttling. The second stage aids in the recovery of the first stage by producing much more thrust than the second stages of other comparable launch vehicles, allowing it to carry more propellant and therefore provide much more of the necessary velocity to reach orbit than the first stage. As a result, the first stage is not going as fast when the second stage begins its work, allowing it to more easily slow down and land. The second stage also has a relatively low drive mass considering its size, so that it doesn't cut into the payload capacity of the vehicle. While the space shuttle was an early attempt at reusability, it failed to drive down launch costs per kilogram because it was also the simultaneous reuse of a rather complicated crewed spacecraft, as well as the fairings as represented by the cargo bay doors, and trying to meld the recovery of these elements, the spacecraft, the fairings, the service module, and the main engines of the first stage into a single vehicle proved too much. Falcon 9 has succeeded in reducing launch costs mainly by keeping things simple. The result has been 363 successful launches in 366 attempts for a 99.2% success rate as of the recording of this video, and also 326 successful landings of the first stage in 335 attempts, truly making the recovery of the first stage seem routine. With that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of Falcon 9.